What is up guys? Today I am so excited to show you guys my brand new garage. But before we do that, I'm excited to show you guys my first ever merch drop, which is live right now. Big thanks to you guys at the beginning of 2022. I said it was a goal to do merch this year. I didn't think it would happen, but several of you guys reached out and said, you need to do that, I will support you. So thanks to you guys, we now have stickers and shirts. I think they turned out absolutely amazing. We got Gildan shirts in this burgundy color. We got my Corrado on there, it's exact replica. Um, it's hard to see on here, but across the top, above the car, it says Corrado, Rider Matt on license plate. Uh, really, really cool. And they're ranging from sizes small to 3XL, so we got you guys covered. Here are the stickers, also featuring Corrado, obviously. I think they also turn out very well, transparent background, which is cool. So, prices. Not gonna lie, these, these shirts aren't cheap, but I tried to go the, to the top, um, got the best designer I could find because I wanted this done right. Like I said, they're Gildan shirts, which are awesome quality. I think most of you guys are familiar with them. Uh, shirts are $32 a piece. Stickers are $3 a piece. Flat rate of $8 shipping. Um, I'm gonna be a lot of shows coming out and I'll have shirts and stuff with me so you guys can always buy them there. Um, Something else I want to do soon, but I got way too much money invested in this. I really want to do Richardson hats. So basically it's going to have the same Corrado logo across the top here. Um, before I dump another thousand dollars into that, I want to know that there's some interest in that. So just let me know. Um, I'm planning on doing gray on the front, black on the back, just because I feel like the black gets really dirty right away. But hey, you guys let me know what colors you like and we'll see what we can get going for you guys. Um, payment options. So we have Venmo and PayPal. You just search Rado Matt, all one word in there. You'll see the profile come up with my Corrado on there. Uh, when you order, in the comments, just put what size you want um, with shirts, if you want a sticker, and also your address on there. Any questions, comments, anything, um, just DM me, Facebook or Instagram, at Rado Matt, and just before we go, just thanks so much in advance for the support. I'm, I'm just really excited and just amazed that we're actually getting to this level here, guys. This is a huge moment for me. Some people might be like, why are you so excited about this little tiny garage? But I'm very excited. This is my first garage I've ever actually owned. So that just makes it extra special to me. Uh, I can customize it and make it as awesome as I want. So that's what we're trying to do here. So I started out at the beginning of the video. You guys saw some of those shots with just how disgusting this entire area was full of trash. It was absolutely horrible. And part of me didn't want to show you guys those shots, but I wanted to put them on there because first off, I want to be real. And second off, because I want to encourage you guys to chase your dreams. Um, I'm not a construction person. I know nothing about it going into this. I knew nothing. And so I'm just, it makes me more excited and just more proud just because I feel like I really accomplished something with where this has come from. As you guys saw, this building is not in great repair. The outside is just bare plywood. They just painted it. It's rotting away, just holes through the wall. So got the whole bottom patched from about here down and got everything insulated, the walls, the ceiling, put plywood on all this, all the ceiling here, painted it up. Um, yeah, it's been months in the making, but really happy with it. These lights came from my old garage. Um, this workbench, which I'm really happy with, turned out very well. And yeah, it's actually quite spacious now that we have the junk out. So really excited to actually start working in here. Kind of a weird lean to out the side. That is an absolute disaster. Just, yeah, kind of a little glimpse of what the rest of the garage looked like. So gonna hopefully eventually turn that into like an air compressor room, have all my shelves, keep my junk and clutter in there. 
Um, thanks to my dad for this spare GTI wheel. It's an awesome hose holder. Um, what's come around over here? Um, so this wall is insulation. That's why it looks so weird, but it's gonna be really nice that in the winter time I can heat whatever I'm working on. So got this door to the other side here, which it's so full of junk. We'll come around the outside. No. Sneak peek of this side, which I especially don't want to show you guys. It is so bad, but yeah, this is where my rabbit truck is at. That side is still full of junk from the previous owners, which hopefully that's going to come out soon. And yeah, basically this side's the same exact part way as the other side. Um, sometime probably I'll wait till this fall. We'll get insulation up, plywood, and get it nice. And the nice thing about this bay is that it's even wider yet, so I should be able to have two Mark 1s in here at one time, which that is really cool to me. Just want to give some people a huge shout out. Um, my grandpa, he was here, helped me get the outlets up here for the lights. Um, we put a 220 breaker box in so I can run a big air compressor. Just huge shout out to him. Also, huge shout out to my dad. He was here several Saturdays to some of my friends. Um, my wife did a lot of the paint work in here, so and she's also behind the camera. So just shout out to her. And I just want to give you guys a huge shout out too. Just um, the last few months, haven't been doing a lot of content, but um, just thank you for the support um, as we do merch here. Just thanks in advance for that. And I'm just really excited because it's about to get real with the content now that we got this thing set up. So catch you guys next time. Thank you so, so much. Peace.